Isla de las Muñecas. Buen día, cuates, panas, parceros. My name is Eric, and today I'm going to discuss Xochimilco, and more specifically, the Island of the Dolls. The Island of the Dolls is located in Xochimilco, which is about 24, more or less, kilometers south of Mexico City, more or less 15 miles south of Mexico City. And it is a World UNESCO Heritage Site. It was named so back in 1987. Mexico in general has 35 World UNESCO Heritage Sites, making it seventh in the world. So I got to Mexico City on a Wednesday. My daughter flew in from Miami on a Thursday the next day. And before going to Island of the Dolls, we went to El Castillo de Chapultepec, which is extremely well known. It's got the great black and white checkerboard floors. We also went to the Zocalo, which is the main square where they have the big flag. We also went to the Latino Americana building, which is really well known in Mexico City. And we went to the Anthropology Museum. Didn't have much time. So on the weekend, we decided to go to the Island of the Dolls. It is something that I had seen before on television. I brought my Canon EOS M50 along with a Zion Weeble gimbal and said to myself, I'm not gonna miss out on this opportunity to check this place out because it seemed pretty creepy. My daughter, of course, brought her iPhone. So Saturday, off we went. I mentioned how far it is from Mexico City. As far as getting there, it takes about an hour. Depends on traffic. We took an Uber. We arrived approximately at around 12 o'clock, noontime. Once you get there, you will be amazed by the colorful wooden boats that they have in Xochimilco. Xochimilco is made up of canals, and along the canals are these chinampas, which are man-made settlements that the Aztecs made in order to cultivate vegetables, and especially corn. Up till today, corn is the main staple of the Mexican diet. So they have the canals, they have these chinampas, and they have these colorful wooden boats, which the captains navigate with a bamboo stick. They take a bamboo stick, a big long one, and they just navigate along the shallow bed of the canals. These boats are called trajineras, and they're extremely colorful. If you can see like the Venezuelan doll behind me, those types of colors, even more, just like everything in Mexico, colorful, beautiful, just a great thing. Xochimilco itself, the, the dock where the boats are lined up, it's a blue collar place. There's nothing fancy. If you want a bite to eat or something to drink, of course they have that. It's a great people watching place. You will see friends gathering to go out on the boat and drink and eat and just have a good time. You will also see families with their children. It's just a wonderful, wonderful experience. So you get there, you Pick whatever boat you want, whatever is available. Of course, now keep in mind, it's a Saturday. So when we arrived, a lot of the boats, or trajineras, were already out on the canals. We still had a few to choose from. So of course, I let my daughter choose whatever she wanted. It didn't really matter to me. So we hired the captain. We told him we wanted to go to Island of the Dolls. And in we went, and off we went. So. The story of the Island of the Dolls dates back to the 1950s. There was a man by the name of Don Julian Santana Barrera. He lived on one of the Chinampas, his property, and he was from the Asuncion neighborhood. And one day, in the canal, he found a girl that had drowned in the canal, a young girl. Next to the girl floating was a doll. This experience creeped him out so much. It freaked him out, demonized him, whatever adjective you want to use. He grabbed the doll, brought it back home to his property, and hung it up on a tree. Ever since then, he dedicated a good portion of his life to collecting and finding more and more dolls to hang them up all over his property, and in no particular order. I mean, they're all over the place. So he died back in 2001. However, this place continues to be a tourist attraction. And when I went there with my camera, it was the first time I ever used a gimbal, first time I ever shot in 4K. So real quickly, the Canon EOS M50 has excellent dual pixel autofocus if you use regular HD, which is 1920 by 1080. 
But I was like, oh, I've got to shoot 4K, man. You've got to get the best. I didn't realize that it loses dual autofocus, OK? It goes into what's called, I believe, contrast focus, which sucks. And it also crops the image. Now, cropping the image, I didn't mind. I wanted to get into the face of the doll. I wanted to see the dirt, the grime, the age. You got to remember, this is we're, we're talking 70 years later now. This happened in the 1950s, OK? Now, of course, who knows how long each doll has been there or more dolls have been brought in. Nobody knows that. But still, some of these dolls, absolutely. You can see the age and just the dirt and the, the creepiness, the creepiness of the doll. So anyway, the crop factor didn't bother me. Uh, like I said, it was around noontime, maximum 1 o'clock. So it was not golden hour or any of that stuff. So I just hit record, and I did run and gun. That's all I did for about 20 minutes. And I did the best I could. At the end of the video, there is a hut at the end of the property. There is a hut. And inside the hut, you will see that the dolls are lined up a little bit more in orderly fashion, where you may be able to just kind of pan and get some video that way. So anyway, if you intend on going to Mexico City, I highly recommend you go to Island of the Dolls. If you do so and you want to shoot video, bring some type of stabilization, even if it's just a cell phone gimbal. I didn't have that back then. I didn't even know they existed. But nowadays, they even have just cell phone gimbals, which are very light, portable, easy, probably get a lot better video than I did. And so if you go, just have a great time. And uh, thank you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you. 
Buen día, cuates, panas, parceros. Hoy les voy a hablar sobre... Ay, ¿por qué estoy hablando en español? La isla de las muñecas. Fuck. Especially corn, right? Which is even used in, up till today for their main, their, their main source of diet. Fuck. 